Welcome back, guys, to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, as with our testimony of Victor Kudo continuing on. It's the most vaguest bit of evidence I think I've ever had to present in terms of the fact that the description does not help. It took me a while looking back and forth going, okay, what, what am I doing now to figure this one out? But the thing we're working on is this statement here. The little fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. May as well do it in the voice as well. But he said like... He had the newspaper in his right hand, right? So it's everything kind of combined, which is proving his memory shot. Of which... If we look through the evidence here... It's nothing to do with descriptions or anything. Or handwriting or anything like that. We expect the t paper to maybe only on the table a little bit because, you know, it's been written on. Maybe it was written on before. I don't know. What we're really looking at here. If I can get to it, is the coffee cup. Now, the coffee contained potassium cyanide, covered it in the victim and Maggie's fingerprints. It's not a great kind of description to prove what's right or what's wrong. It's more about what you see in the visual. So we're not presenting the profile, though I'm sure that'll come in. It looks like the eye bit will be a point in the future, considering he's saying he's wearing spectacles. He's not wearing spectacles at all. So we can also claim his eyesight's bad. But it's the coffee cup here. The coffee contained potassium cyanide. Sure. But what side that handle is on, plus the depression of the mouth? You know, kind of like lipstick mark? Would say that he drunk from that cup right-handed. The same one he was holding the paper in his supposed free hand was not used at all. That's right, right? Right? Objection. That was a long intro, wasn't it? But man, that took a lot of looking, so I'm glad the episode ended there. Mr. Kudo, do you remember what you were told at the start of this testimony? Now, this was a way of testing the credibility of your memory. I know, I know! There's nothing wrong with my memory, I tell you! Nothing! If I got anything wrong, I'll eat these seeds and sing the pigeon song! What's the pigeon song? Care to tell us where this is going, Trite? According to Mr. Kudo, the victim was holding the paper in his right hand, while drinking coffee with his free hand, which would make that his left. Gah! What is this, kindergarten? But I would like the court to please take a look at this. That's the cup the victim used, correct? Yes, and on the rim, you'll notice the mark left by the victim's lips. Yes, there's a stain left by the coffee. If you consider where that stain is, you'll clearly see that the victim was holding the cup in his right hand. But how? Well, Mr. Kudo, the court is waiting for your epic performance. You said you'd eat those seeds and sing the pigeon song. Ah! Is he going to? What is the pigeon song? Mr. Kudo, I'm afraid this is simply not acceptable. I think the witness had better go back to the park where he came from. Wait! If you think I'm going to stand here and listen to you tell me I'm mad, you're wrong! I don't care about that dirty coffee cup, I know what I saw! You... you still insist on your testimony? A young Brad was holding the cup in his left hand! Oh yes, no question, I'm a good lawyer by citizen I am! It's that dead young hot button you, you spiky head yahoo her at fault! Who? Me? Thank you, old man. We've heard quite enough of you already. I need to say, don't call me old man, old man, exactly! That's what my point was. Been around for 68 years, I have. You can't ignore me. They don't know what I've got to say. I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but sure. Why not hear a little more? <laughs> Mr. Kudo. But this is my 16th cup of coffee. So this is your final stand. Thank you, Captain. You can rely on Victor. Left hand or right hand? I can't believe we're getting mixed up on that, but that was the hard, one of the harder bits of evidence we've ever done. The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side, the green lens of his specs. No, he wasn't. He kept fiddling with it all the time. He was fiddling with it just before he picked up the cup. And then he used the same hand to pick up the cup, his left hand. All lies. We know that the victim was wearing an unusual monocle over his left eye. He wasn't a monocle, your honor. It was a small computer monitor often used by programmers. Oh, really? Like the, the Apple glasses prototypes of, you know, 
the prototype Google Specs 1080p 1080 HD, if anyone gets that reference. But this is back then, I guess this is the future thing about it. Maybe. But wouldn't they have to make it look like a scouter? A monitor? You mean like a television screen? The inside of the lens is a screen that displays computer data. It's called an HMD. It's a common tool in the victim's line of work. It is? HGTV, DVD, CD, all these newfangled letters drive me mad, but they don't matter. I know what I saw and I'm telling the truth, VHS for life. It's true. He doesn't seem to be lying. And those are the facts in good old black and white. So we didn't get the HMD as a bit of evidence or anything like that? The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his specs. He kept fiddling with it all the time, indeed. Right, okay. He was fiddling with it just before he picked up the cup too. And then he used the same hand to pick up the cup, his left hand. Well, obviously that can't be. What am I presenting to, though? Now, the reason it can't be is because... We learnt that his left eye, his left ear, was screwed. So he can't really be wearing the earpiece on the left. It wouldn't work. And the green lens is on his left. Surely that, surely this works. I'm not sure the relevance of this is, but... Mr. Kudo, there is something very strange about your observations of the victim. What? You say he was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the HMD. No question! You can lock me up if I'm wrong! It was his left ear without a doubt! I could only see that side of his head from where I was sitting. I don't think so. Wh what did you say?! You're no doubt unaware of this fact, Mr. Kudo. But the victim couldn't hear of his left ear. His eardrum was ruptured. Eh? Traces of medication for his condition were found in his ear canal. That's right, it's impossible the victim was wearing his earpiece in his left ear. Because he couldn't even hear in that ear. Well, that was a lot easier statement than the previous one. Is that true, Captain? It is. P p p pigeon? Mm -mm -mm. Pretty pigeon? Mm -mm -mm. P p pigeon? Order, order, order! This witness's testimony is completely unreliable! He only saw the waitress from behind! He claims the victim was wearing an earpiece when we know his eardrum was ruptured! Well, Mr. Godot... Ah, oh, yes, he's melting again! A single drop of milk is all it takes to destroy the pure black magic in the cup. This old man is my drop of milk! Captain, are you calling me a drip? This is the victim's coffee cup in which the potassium cyanide was found. The mark on the rim clearly shows that the victim picked it up with his right hand. I'll never back down, I know I'm right. The lad drank his javachino over his left hand. Let me put you out of your misery. Clearly the victim used both hands. He took a sip with the cup held in his right hand and then switched to his left. That's what the old man saw. Objection! That's not his testimony. Impossible. The witness has already testified on numerous occasions. The victim died immediately after taking just one sip of the coffee. Objection. That too. Which hand the victim used to pick up his cup is irrelevant, Your Honor. The facts still stand. With one hand or the other, Mr. Elk drank the poisoned coffee. Like this! Objection. Isn't that your last cup? Sadly, Mr. Goddard, that doesn't wash. The point of this testimony was to establish whether the witness's memory is credible. And the results are clear. The testimony given by this witness is useless! I believe it is time to conclude today's proceedings. I am satisfied the witness is not deceiving the court. But to be frank, his testimony is a farce. Did you have to be so frank? Take that, you pompous old fogey! I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo. You can't reach me from there. And even if he did, my beard would come up, rise up! to deflect it. I'm ordering the defense and the prosecution to investigate this case further. That is all for now. This court is adjourned. Really? We're done? Oh. Wait! If we stop now, where does that leave me? 
Leave you, Mr. Kudo. Thanks to that blue-suited young upstart over there. I'm just a bubbling old man who can't even dot his T's or cross his eyes now. How is your bad memory my fault? I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but there's nothing I can do. I kept my mouth shut until now, but there's something else the court should know. What? There's more. To be perfectly honest, it might not be anything, but I want another chance. I want another crack at you, young shark. Me? He's looking at me like I'm some sort of evil shogun. Well, everyone, what do you say to one final showdown? The final chapter in this eccentric old man's scrapbook. Sorry, Gramps. I've already had my 17th cup of coffee. What have you got to lose, Captain? I'll give you all the javatino you want if you come to my house after the trial. I may be 68 years old, but Victor Kudo is still a man! That's enough, witness. I believe it will be quicker for the court to just hear your testimony. You bet! Much, much quicker! I can't believe this is happening. Ha <laughs> ha You better get ready, youngster! Repellent! I get the picture! Just quit throwing the seeds at me, would you? He's gotta be using some sort of infinite ammo code with that box of seeds! Can you get one of them with deco seeds? I don't know. Infinite DQ seeds. First of all, I want to stress that this might be nothing. I'm not too sure of myself. Oh my god, I just The young boy slumped over the table as soon as he took one sip of his javachino. Well, the clumsy idiot upset the vase. He knocked it right over. What vase? What vase? What vase? I saw nothing. It broke, and the strip of cloth covering the table got completely soaked. Well, how about that? Turn things upside down, hmm? What face? What vase? I saw nothing. Um, is that all? Yes, that's all. I remember it perfectly. Uh, you're doubting me again? You're doubting a poor defenseless old man? No, we are not doubting you, Mr. Kudo. Don't you get the feeling there's a question hanging on everyone's lips, Nick? Yeah. So what? Probably. That's all I can think of, and I have to cross-examine this guy. You're a bird plane. That's why that's all you can think of. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your final cross-examination, please. Okay. It's the final showdown. We're living a dream. First of all, I want to stress that this might be nothing. I'm not too sure of myself. Yes, I know. Let's skip that, because... The young boy slumped over the table as soon as he took one sip of his javachino, while the clumsy idiot upset the vase. We don't have a vase and records. What vase are you talking about? There is vase, I'll never get it right. Was there one here? Well, that's not gonna show anything. Oh, there's it. Oops. Um, I take everything back. Maybe I'm the old man now. Is there a picture of the thing again? Oh, wait a second, it's up! <laughs> Maybe I should have noticed that. I am the old man, aren't I? Mr. Kudo, this is a photograph of the crime scene. It's really easy to tear apart if I wasn't so dumb. Hmm, so what? Look carefully at the table. The vase is still there, intact. Hmm, lost your tongue, Grandad. I'm no Grandad of your hopscotch. Ow, ow! Enough! If you throw any more seeds in this courtroom, the cleaners will be here all night. Ah! What is it now? I just remember something. Y yes, go on. The broken vase! Ah, it was on my table! Well, you're it looks fine on the picture as well! What? Ah, well, you see. It startled me when that young lad collapsed. So I stood up. That must have been when it fell over. The vase on my table, I mean. The vase on your table? Ah, yes, it was on my table. And that's how my coin came to be completely soaked. Oh, really? It's completely irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's like 100% irrelevant. You idiot. Poor old man. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for today. Ha <laughs> ha, fun. Uh, I'd like to ask a question now. Have I, uh, 
Have I been any use at all? <laughs> Perhaps that's something you should reflect on yourself, Mr. Kudo. Ah! Wait, wait, wait a minute! If that's the case, there's more! I've got more to say! Oh yes, I remember something else. Bailiff, escort the witness out of the courtroom. Wait, listen to me! Pigeon dance. Well, we seem to have been considerably sidetracked. Yes. And I'm still not in a position to deliver a verdict. The defendant has not been positively identified as the waitress in question. Additionally, there are two disparities in the testimony we have heard thus far. The mark on the coffee cup that the victim supposedly drank from with his left hand. And the earpiece which was inserted into his left ear out of which he couldn't hear. Wow, Nick, you did it! I therefore require both the defense and the prosecution to further investigate the facts. Yes, Your Honor. There's one more thing before I call today's session to an end. One more thing, Your Honor? Yes, please be the one more thing that I've just, like, realized that we still haven't brought up yet. That Phoenix Wright wasn't the same Phoenix Wright as before. It was a fake. Why are we not investigating this? This whole, it's kind of like perjury in a way, isn't it? False identity, stealing, that kind of thing, you know? One more thing, Your Honor? The witness we just heard from. He is most insistent that his testimony should be of use, so we summarize it accordingly into this statement. Um, okay. You may each have a copy of it if you wish. Whatever. The prosecution doesn't need props like that. Kiddo's really mad, huh? Yeah, I would be too. He's just had his time wasted. Very well. Here you are then, Mr. Wright. There are three copies. My own, yours, and Mr. Kiddo's. Yes, Your Honor. Right, we got his testimony added to the court record, whatever that might do for us. I'm sorry? This isn't a piece of testimony, more like a five-year-old apology! What does it say? When the incident occurred, I broke the vase at my seat. I'm sorry. Somehow, this is going to be ridiculously important. Maybe? What the heck are we supposed to do with free copies? That is all. This court is adjourned. Thank you for the old man's affidavit. Affidavit. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. As we move on, next time, to more Phoenix Wright, because we may as well start afresh for another episode. Join me then, as we get investigating once more. Bye-bye.